Hi everyone, so this is my review for uh, Gabri2JZ. Um, this is from um, Instagram, I got it. Um, basically, what I see here is this is a true brown eye. Uh, there's no blue in it. And uh, But what we can see is there is a uh, skin ring that's around the iris, which means that um, you're probably uh, not eliminating as well as you should be through the kidneys which means that your skin has to take on the job. So you might have skin issues because of that and the way to do it is you want to, at this point you want to do both. So you want to detox the skin and at the same time you want to make sure you're not eating anything that co that's going to cause more mucus and more buildup. So that means like, you know, as I say in every single, um, pretty much our, uh, our virology review is you want to cut off all of the um, meat, all of the dairy, all of the cheeses, you know, all kinds of dairy. Um, breads, basically anything that's really processed and especially everything that comes from an animal um, you don't really want to be eating. You want to be eating plant-based diet and you'll see that your eye will improve but the skin ring in particular you want to make sure that your body is sweating so you're sweating out the toxins because at this point those toxins are under your skin. They're not like circulating within your body, they're directly under your skin. So um, I'm not particularly sure um, if they can get reabsorbed and refiltered by the kidneys. I don't really think that's, maybe some of it may, but most of it has to be sweated out now that it's made its way to your skin. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're, you try to sweat as much as you can, either saunas or eat spicy food, like um, not spicy food, but specifically cayenne pepper is really good. Um, so that you can get it like a ground up powder and just put it on top of like whatever you're eating and just make sure that your body is always in a state of sweat and for the next little while as much as possible obviously and don't stop sweat like I know it's kind of gross like but you know don't completely prevent sweat with deodorants like wear deodorant maybe when you go out but don't prevent it all the time because if you do then it has no way to kind of eliminate it as much as it, it would so there's always a fine balance with that. So that's about the skin. Um, you may also have like things like acne and just like different skin problems because of this. Um, because your skin is trying to push it out, so it can push it out in the form of acne, it can push it out in the form of some sort of like moles or anything, you know, any kind of skin stuff. Um, so, and that's actually most people have skin rings, you know, some are better than others. And if you look at people who are doing um, uh, raw food uh, diets for a long time or for at least a few years you can see that their skin ring is very very light compared to um, to some of some some people who do not you know and again that's not always the case sometimes there's people who have been doing raw food for a while and they just can't get rid of the skin ring um, so it depends on what exactly they're doing because they can be better in their the rest of their body but they're not sweating so that stuff just continues to be under the skin Anyways, we've talked enough about the skin ring. Um, let's continue. Um, I actually, I don't think this is too bad. Uh, I do see that there's uh, um, like a lot of uh, kind of uh, uh, gunk, if you want, um, around the pupil, which means that your GI tract is kind of dirty. So, and that's just from eating like a, you know, traditional diet. Um, type of thing and mine is the same exact way so what you want to do is just as, as you go on fruits and detox because you do need to go on fruits to detox the vegetables are not going to do it for you um, vegetables are good they're not going to clog you but you know they're not going to do it and vegetables are not a standard human diet you know um, cows you know horses they eat vegetables and you have to have multiple stomachs to process vegetables you know so you can you, sometimes you can see it like people who are like vegetarian and they stick to vegetables more so than fruits they all look like gray and the, the, they don't look very healthy so you want to make sure that you're focusing on fruits then some veggies and um, then you know maybe cooked uh, veggies every once in a while or like at least one like once a day or something like that I wouldn't do cooked food though more than once a day because then you're kind of losing the effect of the detox because then the detoxer is going to be detoxing what you ate rather than you know the old stuff okay um but uh it's hard to tell from the picture because there's it's it's kind of just hard to tell um it doesn't seem to be too bad there is a few uh looks like a few radii solaris but i don't you know it's, it's not nothing that's 
uh, you know you, we can't fix um, but just yeah just keep going with the raw food diet if you have better pictures send it to me and I'll do an updated video um, but yeah and uh, and keep this picture for your future so you can see how like where you you know how, how far you've come basically anyways that was the video if you have any additional questions please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one if you have a picture to send me um, you can do so by uh, through Instagram or through uh, you can send it to my email which is info at hgwebservices.net I'll put all of the info below so you can just copy and paste it and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.